Today I want to test out one of the most underrated forms of AI technology, and one that had a lot of hype originally but everyone kind of forgot about for some reason. So we all know OpenAI's GPT-4 technology, this is a text AI. It powers ChatGPT+. When this first was announced, it was one of the most hyped AIs ever, and it had a really really massive feature that everyone's kind of forgotten about because ChatGPT never got it. But I'm gonna show you a few ways you can access it yourself today. Now, what is this feature you might be wondering? Well, it's the incredibly human ability to actually see. And you might be thinking, we've seen this technology before, but you've been seeing simplified versions of this technology. What we see in this original OpenAI demo is incredibly advanced and a little bit different. As you can see, it can take a fairly complex joke, something that requires novel concepts, and it will literally lay the joke out panel by panel, explaining what it sees, and then saying that the humor in the image comes from the absurdity of plugging a large, outdated VGA connector into a small, modern smartphone charging port. And, you know, to people who are interested or know about tech, that's pretty funny. For later testing in this video, and you viewers can follow along, of course, I'm going to grab this image. Originally, GPT-4 also had the ability to look at complicated graphs and understand and even perform math based on them. So it could read all of this out and then interpret and understand it just like a human, giving us the correct answer to a math problem at the end. This joke's pretty obvious. Extreme ironing. This dude is strapped to the back of a yellow SUV and he's just ironing for some reason. It explains that this is fairly unusual. This one was also pretty funny, it's just a bunch of chicken arranged to look like the surface of the earth. So as we learned earlier, OpenAI never really gave us this technology, it's not in ChatGPT for example. While we do have file uploading, it can't understand and interpret visual images. However, this technology is available elsewhere. We'll start off with where OpenAI secretly released this. Ah, I'm sure a lot of you remember Bing Chat. We haven't spoke about it in a while, but this is fairly similar to ChatGPT, and they've actually incorporated the same technology inside of Bing Chat. A few weeks ago, without much announcement, Bing secretly added this feature in, and it allows us to upload anything. There is a huge caveat with this though. If I take a lovely picture of myself and upload it into Bing Chat, just by dragging it right down in here, and I ask it, what does this dude look like? It analyzes the image, but it does a privacy blur for all faces that are uploaded. I'm sorry, I can't see this image because the privacy blur hides the face. So there is that limitation. For some reason, it linked a YouTube video by Fantano. Oh, Bing Chat is such a mixed bag. At any rate, we will be testing one that does not have this limitation, and it's a brand new one. But for now, I want to see how this thing stacks up against that original GPT-4 testing. We're gonna start off with that charging port meme. And we will quite literally give it the same exact prompt that ChatGPT4 had. Oh, and we get a response here that is fairly good, I must say. I'm pretty impressed by this thus far. Ah, uh, and it even offered some funny memes to go along with it, although these are entirely unrelated. Here's a tip for you viewers at home, when interacting with a text-based AI, you can copy your messages and bring it over into Eleven Labs, which can read it out to you and it literally sounds just like a human. So essentially, it's like Bing Chat has a voice. The humor in this image comes from the absurdity of plugging a large, outdated VGA connector into a small, modern smartphone charging port. The image is a collage of three photos showing a blue VGA cable and its packaging. Here is how I would describe each panel. Panel 1. A black smartphone with a blue VGA cable plugged into it. The cable is much bigger than the phone and looks out of place. The phone screen shows a message that says, Chat GPT, draw me a picture of a VGA cable. Panel 2. The packaging of the VGA cable. It is a blue and white cardboard box with Elecom and VGA cable waka written on it. The box also has some Japanese text and a barcode. The box looks old and dusty, suggesting that the cable is not very useful or popular. Panel 3. A close-up of the VGA cable's connector. It is blue in color and has a white label with 2 written on it. The connector has 15 pins arranged in 3 rows. 
the connector looks bulky and outdated compared to modern standards. So it got the important stuff right. Uh, it understands why this image is humorous and funny. However, it gave us some random information that does not appear in the image. The phone shows a screen with a message that says ChatGPT draw me a picture of VGA cable. That is obviously not here. Elecom is written on this package. VGA cable Waka is not written on the package though. It does have some Japanese text though, so it got that right. And it somehow misinterpreted this one down at the bottom. It is blue, but there's no number two written on it anywhere. And there's no 15 pins arranged in three rows. It should have said that there's a lightning connector in there. So it struggled. Worse result than the original ChatGPT, and I think that's due to the safety features that Microsoft has locked this thing down with, or OpenAI has locked this thing down with. Again, we'll have to see how the unrestricted model handles this. Let's go ahead and try the graph, which seems to be more complicated than that meme, but maybe for the AI it's a little bit easier to understand. We'll paste the same exact question in. To answer your question, I will use the following steps. Step 1. From the provided chart, we see that the average daily meat consumption for Georgia is 79.84 grams per person per day. Correct. One. From the web search results, we find that the average daily meat consumption for Western Asia is 69.62 grams per person per day. So for some reason, it decided to go look up the uh, Western Asia grams, but it actually came to the same exact thing that was provided inside of the chart. Funny enough, that might not have happened. It might have looked up and found the wrong information on the web. We wanted it specifically from the chart, and for some reason it couldn't grab this one, but it was able to grab Georgia's. Step 3. To find the sum of the average daily meat consumption for Georgia and Western Asia, we need to add the two values together. The final answer is 149.46 grams per person per day. This is the sum of the average daily meat consumption for Georgia and Western Asia. I hope this helps you understand how to solve this problem. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me. So, it got the right answer there. Alright, now we come down to the ironing board man. Plug this right in. Bing, what is so unusual about this image? Ah, okay, so this is very interesting, viewers. We're getting a completely different answer now than what we originally got from ChatGPT4. GPT4's original answer was literally a sentence long. Let's take a listen. One thing that is unusual about this image is that it shows a man ironing clothes on top of a yellow taxicab in the middle of a busy city street. This is not a common sight, and it raises many questions, such as, why is the man ironing clothes on the roof of a taxicab? Not on the roof. How did he get the ironing board and the iron up there? Where is he getting the power supply for the iron? Is he the driver or the passenger of the taxicab? Does he have permission to use the taxi cab as his ironing station? Is he doing this for fun, for work, or for some other reason? How does he plan to get down from there safely? <laughs> Another thing that is unusual about this image is that it has a pink color filter that makes it look like it was taken at sunset or sunrise. However, the source of the image, one says that it was taken at 11.30 a.m. in New York City. This means that either the image was edited to change its color or that there was some atmospheric phenomenon that caused the pink hue. All right, let's break this down because there's a lot to unpack here. First of all, Bing. He is not ironing the clothes on the roof of the taxi cab. He's strapped to the back of it. It is a fair question to raise how did he get the ironing board up there. Although if you look closely, there's some pink straps. Where is he getting the power supply for the iron? Great question. Is he the driver or the passenger of the taxi cab? I guess at a greater context, that is a question like, does he own the taxi? Is this his or is this someone random? Does he have permission? Yeah, okay, that's like a follow-up question. For fun or for work or for some other reason, it's probably for fun. We should be able to extrapolate that, Bing. And how does he plan to get down from there? That's, uh, that's another good question. It goes off for no reason uh, on a pink-colored filter. I guess it's seeing these little pink accents and getting confused by them. So, no, there's no filter on this at all. Um, so we can just kind of omit that, but it's interesting because it was actually able to read the metadata of the image. Fascinating, right? And it knows that the image was taken at 11.30 a.m. in New York City. Yeah, but that's crazy that it was actually, you know, it thought to go look in the metadata. It shows you how inhuman and human these AIs can be at the same exact time. 
Looking at the original ChatGPT response, ChatGPT actually kind of messed up too. The man is not attached to the roof and the taxi is not moving. So mistakes that this thing also made, but this thing had a whole hallucination about a pink hue. Finally, we move into the chicken nuggets. Bing, explain this meme to me. Wow, giving me some background context, are we? Never thought so much could be written about a little chicken nugget picture. Oh, I love the examples that it's giving me down below. <laughs> sure, I can try to explain this meme. A meme is a humorous image, video, piece of text, or gif that is spread across the internet, typically on social media, and often with slight variations one. Memes can be created by anyone, and can be about anything, from current events to mundane tasks to pop culture references. This meme is a humorous image of a baking tray with chicken nuggets arranged in the shape of the world map. The caption on the image reads, Sometimes I just look at pictures of the Earth from space and I marvel at how beautiful it all is. The humor comes from the contrast between the caption and the image. The caption implies that the person is looking at a realistic and awe-inspiring photo of the Earth from space, while the image shows a crude and silly representation of the Earth made out of chicken nuggets. <laughs> the meme is mocking the person's lack of perspective and appreciation for the actual beauty of the planet. Fair enough, that's a great explanation. I have zero, uh, zero worries about that. Here's what GPT-4 originally wrote for us. This meme is a joke that combines two unrelated things. Pictures of the Earth from space and chicken nuggets. The text of the meme suggests that the image below is a beautiful picture of the Earth from space. However, the image is actually of chicken nuggets arranged to vaguely resemble a map of the world. The humor in this meme comes from the unexpected juxtaposition of the text and the image. The text sets up an expectation of a majestic image of the Earth, but the image is actually something mundane and silly. Okay, that's a, that's a good response. I think that Bing actually won against ChatGPT4's original paper in this. Shockingly, right? So if I had to give an overall score to Bing's ability to see like a human, and furthermore understand what it is seeing, I think I'd have to give it something like a B-. I am almost positive that this is the same exact technology that OpenAI originally showed off in that demo. However, it's been reduced down quite a lot by what I assume to be safety features, these privacy features that don't allow it to see faces, for example. Uh, there must be some severe hampering of the overall AI's ability to see by putting that safety feature in. It could also be other safety features that we just don't know about that they've uh, implemented. And I assume that's why this thing isn't even in ChatGPT yet, is just because it's not smart enough to be capable for that. But like I said earlier, viewers, this is exciting. There is another model that has the ability to see, and it's very recent, and it comes from NVIDIA. Let's test it out. Now, this model actually can be run on your own machine at home. However, it has quite the requirements list. Windows 11 or higher, 64 gigabytes of RAM, 60 gigs of hard drive space, and an RTX 4090. NVIDIA actually graciously sent me an RTX 4080 to make videos with, but uh, I still can't run this model. Still, it's nice to see that it's an option. So yeah, this is pretty much the only vision model I can think of that actually can run at home. Anyways, this thing understands text and images and generates informative responses, similar to what we've already seen. Now, you can try to give it tasks like I was earlier, and well, when you submit, it actually does generate extremely fast, but it doesn't quite get the context of the, uh, the whole scene here. Trying to charge a phone with a blue USB cable, that's true. While the phone is still in its package, not true. It definitely sees the packaging, but it can't understand the correlation. Anyways, it makes a lot of assumptions and can't really get the gist of this one. However, it does do pretty well on the chicken nugget one. Tray of food with pieces of meat, possibly chicken, arranged in the shape of the world. This meme showcases the person's cooking skills or make the dining experience more enjoyable. Yeah, so it doesn't quite uh, have the ability to read exactly what is up here. It's a smaller model at only 43 billion, whereas the GPT-4 one's going to be quite a lot larger, even if it is handicapped. Thing is, though, with this one, we can actually submit faces. So, you know, they don't do as much nannying in terms of allowing you to have fun. Let's see what it thinks of me. 
It's gonna crop this, so let's have it try to resize instead. What does this guy look like? Is he ugly? Oh, a young man with a thoughtful or curious expression on his face. I would say that's correct. That's very accurate. Smiling has his hand near his chin. Yes, true. Situated in front of a window. Yes, also true. Provides a backdrop for the scene somewhat. In the background, there are multiple potted plants. Yes, that's actually correct. Shocking. Those are potted plants, even though they are extremely blurry. Oh, interesting. A, a teddy bear is also visible sitting to the side. Uh, I don't see a teddy bear. I think it thinks my painting, which no one really comments about. This painting is bold and brash from Spongebob. So I think it thinks this is a teddy bear. Oh, comfortable and well-decorated space. Does not answer if I'm ugly, though. What is ugly about this guy? Oh, no! <laughs> A man with a pink shirt, correct, is posing for the camera, correct. He appears to be quite ugly. No, his facial features are described as unappealing and his smile seems insincere or forced. Not pleasant or attractive to some people, which could be due to a variety of reasons such as his facial features, hairstyle, or overall body language. He, the man may face difficulties in social situations or in forming connections with others due to his perceived physical unattractiveness just got roasted by the ai man oh this is a sad moment anyways open ai would never let you do that i want to see if this thing has any kind of ability to read language what does the text say nope no sdxl found clearly more limited uh than the bing chat model but at least it doesn't block out faces and stuff which i find a little ridiculous on the, the bing chat model i would also like to mention this Google's ChatGPT competitor also has this feature where it can, you know, analyze images, and we've looked at it before, but um, it is quite a lot worse than Bing and also cannot look at images of people. So if you want something you can run at home and is fairly unrestricted, I would recommend this NVIDIA model. If you're not going to be looking at any images of people, and if you're not going to do anything too inappropriate, I would recommend Bing. The implications of this technology is actually quite massive. Someday in the future, we will have AI bots that can scoot around your home and recognize things that you're holding and that you're doing, and it can assist you with things, go get things from your fridge, maybe even do specific tasks around the house, throw trash away, take care of dishes. You might have an AI app in the future where you could example, take a photo with your phone of your pantry or fridge and say, what are some different meals I could create with this? The possibilities are endless, and this is the kind of technology we really need to advance further. And it's something that isn't talked about a lot in the AI community. And I think that's a little bit unfortunate. We can't let OpenAI just forget about this stuff. I want to see a really good unrestricted version of this inside of ChatGPT, but we all know how OpenAI is, so we might have to just wait for that NVIDIA model to improve. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Are you going to use these models yet? Are they useful? What would you use this technology for? What could you see it being used for in the future? Thanks so much for watching. I'm Matt VidProAI, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.